Okay, there she is. My Argon 18 E60, <laughs> code name Sable. Um, just having a look, I was into the Bike Zone Mississauga where I bought it uh, just last week, uh, last Thursday. I made an appointment and I met with uh, Coach Chris Kurzawinski, who is a um, fairly you know prominent figure in West End GTA cycling. Um, he runs the Win Cycling Team and uh, tried to recruit me on the spot, but I told him I'm not really into teams and making appointments with people, but uh, I like to just train on my own when I can find the time, uh, but still a nice guy, uh, very no-nonsense. No, no uh, <laughs> he, um, he was, uh, you know, he took one look at the bike as I rolled it up, and if you have a look over here, this saddle, uh, when I initially got it, it was a bit loose. When I sat on it, 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 it was tilting and stuff like that. So I had a devil of a time getting uh, Allen keys up in there to make changes. And when I finally had it tight enough, it had a bit of a downward slope like that, like it was tilting me forward. So he takes one look at it and he goes, what is this? And did you do this? And uh, yeah, you know, it put me on the defensive, even though I, I figured it was, shouldn't have been so loose in the first place. But I said, yeah, and I don't really know what I'm doing. But I mean, this is at least making it tight enough. So yeah, that was the first thing he did uh, was bring the seat upwards. Uh, and the reasoning was that, um, let's see if I can do, do this. Yeah, that'll do. He felt if I was to, um, be a little higher up, I'd get more power. The overall thing he did was get me a little bit more compact, tighter. Um, so yeah, he sort of felt like I would get better power from being a little higher up. The nice thing that did for me was um, by getting me, I'll get in more into the other changes he did later, but um, what I was looking for mostly was I felt like I was falling forward on the on the bike. It took a while to get used to. I was scared I would tip over, especially on a downhill. So I felt like I was always leaning downhill. The first time I jumped on the trainer, I actually used this riser in the highest position, which is what you put when you want to simulate climbing, and that made me more, a lot more comfortable. So in addition to just simply raising the seat some, according to the leg length, he had a nice little measurement there. He also, um, brought these handlebars back this way, so shortening them up. So the difference was, from me being sort of really stretched out like this, you can see the downward slope of my back, to raising my butt up with the seat and bringing this in tighter. So I did feel like I had a higher center, of, like not tipping forward as much, easier on my neck. And the other thing he was saying is that when I push with this leg, I'm bracing with my upper body and I can get more power from my upper body to brace at this 90 degree angle than I can if I'm all stretched out like a child's pose. So that was, those were the two major changes. There, you know, that's the end effect. There was a little bit, a lot of tweaking in between. The other thing was that he looked at my uh, cleats, which I had put on myself, and he moved them back a bit. So the idea being that, you know, when the cleat was in the front of my foot, he said that was better for fast cadence. But, um, Unless you're sort of a, a sprint cyclist, he said it was better to, to have the cleat further back. So that's what he did. And I do think I, I'm um, getting more power out. Maybe I'm just buying into what he's telling me. But I will say that when I'm, I'm spinning them around, I do feel more like I'm getting um, all, all 360 degrees feel smooth all the way through it as I'm rotating them through. So that's a nice little difference. And... Um, yeah, being more compact like that does seem like it's easier on my neck, like I am a little bit more, more powerful. I had a ride this weekend that went quite well, and I, I felt really like I was getting good power out, out of all the strokes. Uh, the other thing he told me to work on was that uh, my legs, when I'm cycling, tend to splay out a little bit like this. 
And yeah, before he even had me um, get on the bike, he wanted to check my flexibility. So first thing he does is, can you touch your toes? And I was quite proud of that. I can get my hands right down like that to the floor. I'm like, yeah, I've been doing my yoga. And then he says, can you do this? And I go into one of these. And I'm doing this a little better t right now because it's the end of the day and I'm not wearing cycling shoes. But at the time I was feeling a little stiff and I was kind of wobbly and he said, I need a lot more flexibility through here. So uh, that felt, that's been something I've been working on. And yeah, the idea being that when I'm really pushing that my leg doesn't kind of come out like this and that everything stays nice and tight. Anyways, I hope that was interesting to you. If you ever consider getting an aero fit, I think you'll find, uh, as long as you get somebody semi-qualified doing it, you'll notice a difference almost right away. Ciao.